guys, I am gonna take you through my top five stretches you guys can do anywhere and everywhere. And these are honestly my go-to for CrossFit, for training, honestly, for life in general. I do deal with a little bit of low back issues and hip issues, and I feel like these kind of resolve it. And I also have some shoulder issues. <laughs> Sounds like I have a lot of issues, but I mean, if we're going through, if we're training, if you're training as much as I do, which is I train twice a day, you're gonna be dealing with some sort of injury or issues. Um, and I mean, even just sitting, working at a desk on your computer all day, being with your kids, I'm sure all of us have some sort of injuries in our life that we are struggling to deal with. So I kind of wanted to provide some insight onto my channel give you guys some little benefits and maybe you can take this and feel a little bit better about your day it really takes less than 10 minutes so I honestly think you can start your day with this or you can end your day with it um, and I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through this routine we can all start it together and then just kind of work through the flow it's literally five stretches super simple and basic so first ones first is just a basic squat hold so you want your feet just outside of your hips you're going to drive those knees out and just sit back into it we're going to hold this for about a minute so usually when i do any of these stretches i just like to be thankful and just realize that i'm healthy and i just get to be here i mean look at this beautiful day in san diego right now i just breathe and relax and kind of just meditate and be silent and so so I just love doing something like this to start out my day. So anyways you guys can just kind of walk back and forth do that stretch. I actually just had my hip pop right now. I know for a lot of us we are sitting every day and so a squat hold is honestly one of the best things you can do for your body. It's so great for your hips, your low back. I almost usually, for this stretch, I'll hold it for, I can hold this anywhere from like two to five minutes. But for today's video, we're just gonna hold it for a minute. All right, next stretch, we're gonna go down to our backs. This is also one of my favorite stretches. I think I shared this on Instagram a while ago back about my favorite hip warm-up video and this honestly has saved my hips because I find that one of my hips will get really elevated just from all the training I'm doing so this kind of helps lower that hip back down um, so basically we're gonna start on one side we'll start on our right side so we're kind of all starting at the same time you're gonna make sure that left knee is on top of that right knee and then you're gonna have that left hand on top of that right hand and then you guys are gonna rotate over and you're gonna cross over and basically you're gonna go down as far as you can with this left hand if that's right here that's okay some of you might all feel all the way down to the ground and you'll really feel this stretch in your low back and just like it's all opening it feels so good so we're just gonna hold this here for another 30 seconds Again, make sure that knee is right on top of that other knee. I know a lot of you, you might end up finding yourself like this, cheating it, and you really don't want to do that because you really want to stretch that back and feel that crossover stretch. So just breathe. And then we're going to go to the other side. We're going to get that right knee on top of that left knee, that right knee left hand and then you guys are going to rotate over just kind of breathe into as you guys can see man i am so tight in my back right now just from all my training and usually for me sometimes it's super easy to get that hand over but if you notice that your low back is tighter you won't be able to cross over all the way so as you can see it my hand is slowly lowering as we continue to hold this stretch crossover stretches I just feel like it opens up the entire body you're gonna put that right foot on top of that left knee you guys are gonna then make sure your hips are square so some of you might be kind of lopsided like this and then you're gonna square up your hips 
and then you're gonna pull that left knee up and then you guys are gonna rotate to the opposite side and then you're gonna really drive that right knee out if you guys feel any sort of knee pain you're gonna want to lift that those, those toes up so if you have any knee pain lift those toes up otherwise you keep that full foot down and you're going to continue to drive out with that knee again you're going to feel this stretch in your low back you're also going to feel a nice little stretch opening up the front of your hip and even the sides this is honestly probably my favorite stretch to help someone who has any low back issues or hip issues and then we're going to switch sides so same Put that left foot now on top of that right knee. Square your hips. You're gonna bring that leg up and then you're gonna cross over. And you might actually notice that one side is tighter than the other. For me, I actually noticed that my left side right now feels really tight in my low back. And so this side is a little bit harder for me and I actually do deal with some left hip issues. And so in general, this side isn't as flexible. So you'll kind of notice some, uh, just in general, if one side is more, if one side is more flexible than the other. All right, continue to hold and just breathe into it. Really drive that knee out. For me, I have my toes lifted up on the side because I feel, you don't ever want to feel like it's hurting or any pain. All right. So that one, and then, this is my next one. I love a good child's pose. Again, I deal with some low back issues um, and I think this is just a great like, stretch for anyone. It's also very relaxing for the mind and the body. So we're just gonna go into the child's pose. And even you can kind of work for this one in general. If you wanted to work a little bit more shoulders, you can actually raise that butt up and go a little bit more shoulder and T-spine. I actually love this one. I mean, you can feel it opening the front of the chest. And then if you want just more low back and relaxing, you can really lower that butt down. So I hope you guys can see the difference. So here's the one if you want more shoulders. My butt is elevated. And this one is more for that low back, creating space in every vertebrae. And again, we're just breathing. While we're at it, I'm gonna throw in another stretch. I said this video was gonna be top five stretches, but I just realized this is another one of my go-tos is this scorpion pose. So you're gonna bring your feet together and then you're gonna lift your chest off the ground. You're gonna make sure those hips are in the ground. I see a lot of people, they always like to go up here, but actually in yoga, when taught properly, you need to make sure your hips are on the ground, your glutes are squeezed, your legs are together. And you're gonna feel a nice stretch through the front of your abs and also your back. And we're just gonna hold it here. Again, I think this is great for anyone who's working on a computer all day, who's sitting, maybe you travel a bunch in a car. This is so great for you. All right, last one we're gonna do, since I'm at the track right now and I need something to stretch my shoulders because I really wanted you guys to get a shoulder stretch, we are gonna go to the football pole over here. So this next one, you usually wanna find something like a wall, um, a pole, anything where you can put your hand against. And basically, I don't really have a name for this, but I'm gonna call it the three point shoulder opener stretch. So you're gonna start with literally that hand right up next to your ear. And you're just gonna hold this for 30 seconds. So I actually wanna show you guys a before and after. So if you notice now, look how my shoulders are like this. And then I'm gonna show you guys after how my shoulders are gonna be more open after doing this. So you're literally gonna hold it right here. That shoulder is gonna be next to that ear. You wanna make sure your whole chest, your feet are squared forward. So a lot of people might be like twisted like this. You're not gonna feel it. You need to make sure your whole body is square. Hold it for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna walk forward 
and then you're gonna bring that hand down at a 45 degree or at a slight up incline angle, sorry. Again, we're holding it here for another 30 seconds. You're really gonna feel a nice stretch through that front of the pec. Through that shoulder. Again, as you notice, my feet are square forward. And then now we're going into the third point, right at 90 degrees, parallel to the ground. Again, you're feeling that stretch through the front of the pec, through that shoulder. My chest is facing forward. And you guys might notice that actually a shoulder issues are almost related to your hip, like some problems you're dealing with your hip. So when you fix your shoulder, you actually might notice that your hip pain might go away. Sometimes where the injury is, is not necessarily where you're having the pain. All right, so I wanna show you guys now after just doing this left side, the difference, like literally, I don't know if you guys can see this, but that left shoulder, is so much farther back than that right shoulder. What? 90 seconds of doing this, everyone. So I'm gonna show you, we're gonna do the right side now. Kind of get a back angle of this. I'm gonna hold it here. I'm gonna breathe. You keep that shoulder next to your ear. My feet are literally right next to your ear. the left side which is kind of crazy is it as open yeah I think so all right you guys that is my top six stretches you guys should be doing every day I mean it's so simple you guys can do it at home in the gym at your office wherever you are I really think you're gonna benefit from these so I can't wait to see what you guys think let me know down in the comments below if you do it and the differences you felt um, and also let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this, more tutorial videos, stretching videos. I'm always here to help you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will be providing more insightful videos um, and plan to do more, more of the videos like this. Anyways, thank you all for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this.